Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice extent of equation a square minus b equals to 133, b square minus a equals to 133. Solution from here. Let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then, then here, let's subtract equation 2 from 1. That is, we have equation 1 minus equation 2 that is here on the left hand side we have x a square minus b and minus in equation 2 we have into brackets b square minus a those brackets then equals to 1 and 3 minus 1 3 3 that gives us 0 that is minus open this bracket we have a square minus b the minus b square plus a then equals to zero here. Then we bring the squares together as we have a square minus b square. Then here we rearrange we have plus a the minus b equals to zero here. And when we follow the difference of two square, here we can factor this as a plus b into bracket. And open bracket a minus b close bracket then plus here we have a minus b also put that in bracket then equals to zero here that is here if minus b is common bring it out as a minus b into bracket here we have a plus b left then plus one left here close bracket equals to zero here then here we have two possible cases a minus b equals to zero or we have a plus b plus one equals to zero here then here we have a is equals to b and here a is not equals to b in this solution and also on this side we take one to the other side become minus and we have a plus b equals to minus one we can label this as equation 3. The next step here, also we had equation 1 and 2, that is equation 1 plus equation 2. That is here, this becomes a square minus b, then plus b square minus a, as the left hand side equals to 133 plus 133. Then we rearrange here and we have a square plus b square then minus a minus b equals to one thirty three plus one thirty three give us two hundred sixty six. That is also we have a square minus plus b square equals to 266 when we take minus a become plus a also minus b become plus b then here a plus b from equation 3 that's minus 1 and we substitute here as this we have a square plus b square it's now equals to 266 minus 1 that is this becomes a square plus b square equals to 266 minus 1 give us 265 also label this as equation 4 the next step here from when we have a plus b or square we can expand this and this becomes a square plus b square plus 2ab that is we have a plus b or square is now equals to a square plus b square from equation 4 here that's 265 then plus 2ab and also from equation 3 a plus b that's minus 1 we can write this as minus 1 squared equals to 265 plus 2ab and here minus one square is plus one equals to two hundred sixty-five plus two ab. That is here. 
you can solve this by rearranging here taking 265 the left hand side we have 1 minus 265 now equals to here we have 2 ab left at this here 1 minus 265 give us minus 264 equals to 2 ab from here then when we divide both side by 2 at this divide this side by 2 divide this side by 2 here two cancel each other we are left with a b which is equals to divide this by two we have minus 132 and also divide this as equation five then also from when we have a minus b or square the expansion here becomes a square plus b square minus two a b that is from here this becomes a minus b all square equals to a square plus b square from equation 4 that's 265 then minus 2 times a b from equation 5 that's minus 132 here that is here we have a minus b all squared equals to 265 the minus times minus as plus 2 times 132 that gives us 264. That is here, yeah, this becomes a minus b or square equals to 265 plus 264. We have 529. Then, here, yeah, we take the square root on both sides. That is taking the square root on both this side also square root on this side here square cancel square root this becomes a minus b equals to here become plus or minus 23 at least we have two possible values here the first one a minus b equals to 23 or we have the second one a minus b equals to minus 23 then we compare this with equation 3 which is a plus b equals to minus one also a plus b equals to minus one and solve this simultaneously by adding here this gives us a plus a that's 2a b has been eliminated then 23 minus one that's 22 divide both sides by two here two cancel each other and we have a equals to 11 here that's you can call that a1 equals to 11 and to get the corresponding value of b you can use this second equation that is a plus b equals to minus one yeah a is 11 that's 11 plus b equals to minus one by taking 11 to the other side we have b equals to minus one minus 11 and b equals to minus 12 that is we say b1 equals to minus 2 so the first solution a1 comma b1 here equals to 11 comma minus 12. then also on the other side here when we solve simultaneously these two equations we can add as well and we have a plus a 2a b eliminated minus 23 minus 1 as minus 24 divide both side by 2 yeah two cancel each other a here equals to minus 12. we can call this a2 and also from when we have a plus b equals to minus 1 a here that's minus 12 plus b equals to minus 1 and here b equals to minus 1 plus 12 and b here equals to 11 that is the second set of solution a2 comma b2 here is now equals to minus 12 comma 11 so these two solutions here is what we have here which are interchanged here a value of a here is value of b here and value of b here is value of a here. that is then let's check if this solution satisfies this given equations that is we substitute the value of a and b we use the first 
set of solution here, which is a comma b equals to eleven comma minus twelve. When well, we substitute in the first equation, a is eleven. That's eleven squared minus b as minus into minus twelve. Is it equals to one hundred thirty-three here? Then eleven squared. That's one twenty-one. Then minus times minus is plus twelve. Is it equals to one thirty-three on this side? One twenty-one plus twelve. That gives us one thirty-three. Equals to one and thirty-three. That is left hand side equals to right hand side. Then similarly, we check for the second equation here. That is for equation two as well. B now, which is minus twelve. We have minus twelve squared. The minus a. That is minus eleven now. Is it equals to 1, 133, minus 2 squared, that's t144, then minus 11. Is it equals to 33 here? 144 minus 11, it was 133, which is equals to 133 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Also, this solution satisfies the second equation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to stay. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.